In this video, we're gonna be looking at getting our meta tags for SEO into our Nux free application from the WordPress API. It's gonna look like this. By the end of it, you're gonna have all of these meta tags. All the code and written instructions is gonna be available on codinggoblin.com. Links in the description. Let's get into it. So we've got our Nux three app here. Now, the first thing I wanna quickly do is just view the page source and have a look at the current meta uh, tags. So look, we've only got three meta tags here. Now, by the end of this, we're going to have all of these ones that can be seen here. OK, so first we need to do is go into our WordPress website and we're going to add the Yoast SEO plugin. So we're just going to search for it. Yoast. It's a very popular plugin, uh, very well known uh, for SEO. So install it and then we're just going to activate it. So it's installed. Activate. Now, what that's going to do is give us a new option in our WordPress page editor. So if we go to a page, we'll go to the about page because this is what we're going to use for our example. We'll see that we now have this little section here, Yoast SEO. So what we'll do is just quickly change some of this uh, data, add some information here so we can then output it in our WordPress API. So look, you can see here you've got the the title so it automatically fills in some stuff for you and this little box up here is how it's going to look in the google search results or the search results in general so let's just put uh about title oh, no. let's just put something slightly about coding goblin slightly more realistic okay and then the meta description this is the meta description and look at the little bar um at the bottom it tells you like it indicates if you've done a good length and uh, if it's a, is it, if it's going to be better uh, than it indicates how good it is basically by the length um, so you make it a little bit longer this is some more info and a bit more and even more make it go green come on and more there we go so there are other stuff we can do but let's just save that for now update our page and if we go to our endpoint for the about so this is how it currently looking so if we do a little finding place at a page for yoast there's nothing there but now i'm just going to refresh it again and now we've got all this extra information you see here so the one we're interested in, the property for our page is Yoast, and I think it's called head, there we go. Yoast head JSON, there we go. So if we look at this, we see we've got the title, which we just created about Coding Goblin. Description, this is the meta description about Coding Goblin. This is some more blah, 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 blah. And then we've got all this other stuff here. So OG title, OG description, all, all of this. So this is what we're going to basically pull in to our Nuxt application. So let's go to our Nuxt application and have a little look. So this is our main page. And if we just go to my instructions up here, we're just going to find the little bit of code that we need to put in. So we're going to use this function here, use server SEO meta. So we're just going to copy that and then paste it in and see what happens. So save that. And now, remember before we had this, um, our page source. So let's get rid of that. Refresh our about page and then we're going to view the page source again. And hopefully we'll see all our meta tags. Yeah, we'll see them all here. So look, we've got about Coding Goblin. This is the meta description. And we've got all these other ones. Now, this isn't all the tags that you can do. This is just the ones that I put here. So there are loads of other ones, but these are just the ones that tend to get used uh, most commonly. So there is one important note, this OG URL. Now this will by default be current, be pulling in, sorry, your backend URL. So what you need to do is go to your settings in WordPress, general settings, and you need to change this site address. So look, if we look currently, it's going to be, where is it? OG URL, wp.websitegoblin.com slash about. That's the back end. That's where this, you can access these endpoints. That's no good 
for SEO. So we need to change it to our front end, which currently is localhost 3000. Now, obviously, you wouldn't be doing SEO for localhost, but let's just save that. Uh, you'd have that to your actual live front end. But if we refresh that now, we see it's changed, okay? So that's what we need to do to make sure that it's showing the correct information. So yeah, that's basically it. There's not much to it. Um, so we've got our meta tags in from WordPress. Just one little side note, uh, you see that we're, we're getting this data using this, uh, this is called uh, computed getter syntax. That's what Nux uh, called it. But if you, that's just because basically we're using dynamic data from our WordPress API. If you just had static pages, you could just like type the information here that you wanted. You could literally just do this. You could just get rid of that and just say, this is the title. So if we save that and have a look again, refresh that, it should just say, this is the title. Uh, this is the title. See how there. So you don't have to do it this way if you're not using the WordPress API. Uh, if you just have static pages, you can just write this in manually on each page, but uh, depends how you're doing it. So yeah, thanks for watching. And if you like the video, please like it. Um, subscribe if you want to, that'd be great. Um, and we'll see you next time. Thanks very much.